Hello friends, I am your host Rohit and welcome to your today's video. In previous video, we have gone through what is thermal screening unit and what are its advantages and disadvantages. If you are not gone through this video, link is shared in description box with other safety related video. Request you to like this video if you find it's worthy for you. Please share this video so people from same field get benefited with such knowledge stuff. You can also connect with us on our Facebook page and blog page. Link are shared in description box. So let's start today's video powder safety part 7 ARC. Acceleration rate calorimetry devised by Dow Chemical Company in 1970s as explosion at a Dow UK site leads to commercialization of ARC technology. ARC analyzed the property of exothermic reaction in a confined adiabatic environment and one in which minimal amount of heat is lost. While completely adiabatic environment is impossible, acceleration rate calorimeters approximate one as much as possible. Because of the adiabatic condition, any heat generated by the material causes the sample to increase in temperature at an acceleration rate as the temperature increases fuel the reaction. Adiabatic calorimeters are used to study runaway reaction and are often used to evaluate the behavior of reactive hazards. Adiabatic calorimeters operate on the principle of minimization the heat losses from reaction mass or individual material. The chemical heat generated by the reaction mass or individual material is harnessed only in rising the temperature and that the part of container is contact with the reaction mass or material. Adiabatic calorimeters are more sensitive than the screening calorimeters and can be measured the heat generated from a chemical reaction decomposition without losing any heat to a surrounding. What this means in practice is that it is not required to apply large safety margin unlike in DSC and TSU with the screening test that is the result are almost directly applicable to a large scale manufacturer. Adiabatic calorimeters generally require more material and take a longer setup run. Adiabatic calorimetry is not performed on all sample, only those that show potential hazard from the initial screening test. ARC gives information about peak heating rates and total energy of thermal runaway. Things to consider when purchasing an acceleration rate calorimeter include a temperature range, what other conditions can be tracked and sample volume. ARC measures first TMR that is time to maximum rate. Second, AD24 that is adiabatic decomposition temperature. Third, TNR temperature of no run. And fourth, self accelerating decomposition temperature. The people who don't know what is TNR, I suggest please go through process safety by design video. Link is shared in description box. From ARC, we get a graphical representation about temperature rate as a function of temperature pressure as a function of temperature, pressure rate as a function of temperature rate and both pressure and temperature rate as a function of temperature. Test Procedure The acceleration rate calorimeter is commercially available adiabatic calorimeter which uses heater to provide an adiabatic shield around the sample. It provides information on the heat and pressure generated during reaction or a decomposition and thus the potential likelihood of a runaway reaction occurring. The sample typically 3 to 7 gram is contained in a metal sphere usually hester alloy. Other materials are also available of diameter 2.5 cm. Heat losses to metal sphere and ancillary equipment can account for up to 50% of total heat evolved and any self-heating is thus abated to this extent. It is possible to calculate adiabatic temperature rise data, self-heating rate data against time or a temperature and pressure and pressure rate data. Exotherm with a heat generation rate of typically 1 to 2 watt per kg can be detected. Gas evaluation can be detected from relatively low rate by closely analyzing the isothermal hold period of resulting traces. Commercially available ARC can be operated on heat weight search mode. 
that is the sample is heated to predetermine temperature and then tested for self heating if self heating is detected the calorimetry switches to adiabatic mode immediately if no self heating is detected within the specified period of time the temperature is increases and the process is repeated this mode is useful for those chemical that take a longer time to react it is also relatively more accurate than a dynamic mode at determining the onset temperature result and interpretation from arc we get the information about exact onset of thermal event that is exothermic or endothermic and rate of temperature rise that is dt by dt second a total pressure due to decomposition and rate of pressure rise that is dp by dt and third is td24 to determine exact onset of decomposition or time required to decompose at a certain temperature can also be obtained from arc by just holding the sample at a given temperature it is also known as isothermal holding disadvantages of arc typically arc testing is conducted in a closed cell mode therefore the pressure generated by a sample must be contained within a test cell to accomplish this arc test cell are heavily walled test cell capable of withstanding a pressure up to 300 psi or more and a corresponding high temperature as a consequence the phi factor of the system is relatively high the combined mass of sample and the test cell are kept adiabatic not just the sample itself for this reason care must be taken when applying this data to large scale hazard evaluation the arc can be run in two mode of operation a heat weight search mode or an isothermal mode and is typically batch loaded make a note that arc primarily used for pure component testing the data collected by the arc is typically used in a way similar to that collected by thermal stability or screening instruments basis of safety with a sensitivity of 1 to watt per kg it is one of the best thermal screening tool available at present but the result is highly depend on operators because test setup is complex to overcome operating error a safety factor of 20 degree celsius can be considered a correlation between safe operating temperature and onset temperature is t safe is equal to t onset minus 30 degree celsius and a correlation between safe operating temperature and td24 is t safe is equal to td24 minus 10 degree celsius the table gives information about comparison of onset of decomposition with different instrument here the sensitivity is means the ability of instrument to detect all the heat release by the sample as the sensitivity of equipments differ because of their analytical technique the result are also vary a very clear comparison amongst the result of dsc tsu and arc can be seen in a table from the table we can say that arc is more reliable more accurate than dsc and tsu तो आज के वीडियो में बस इतना ही मिलते हैं हमारे अगले वीडियो पाउडर सेफ्टी पार्ट एट में तब तक के लिए मैं रोहित साइनिंग ऑफ बाय बाय